I decided to do a blue background to match with a beautiful pink protea flower and if you don't know South Africa's national flower is actually a protea flower so I just thought I would honor that flower because I am in South Africa and I think it's such a gorgeous and unique flower that you don't really get to see often but it's so beautiful so after this blue background dries I'm just gonna do a sketch over of the flower I'm just going to do a quick sketch of the flower and then I'm gonna do my first layer and take you through the process. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm trying to make more art videos, so definitely encourage me, give me some of your ideas and give me some tips if you have some. Thank you. It's gonna prove you so right. excited for this project. I sit the honey for the day, baby Bad man, we must pay, baby Oops, I done fell for your way, baby I know, girl, but So I kind of, I did my first layer of pink on the Protea flower and it's coming together slowly but I think I positioned the Protea a bit too up so I wanted to see a bit more of the sky, not really sky with the background on top but um, yeah whatever. I think that it looks so beautiful and it's slowly coming together. This is the first layer and I'm just going to take a little break. I'm just going to take a little break and then go on to the leaves because I'm like all over the show. I really, I get bored of one spot and then I have to go somewhere else. So I'm going to do the leaves and go back after this has dried the pink. Um, but I really like how it's coming out. Um, this is just like a quick thing that I'm trying to do. I don't, I'm really excited to see how this project might turn out. We are set the honey for the day, baby. Bad man, we must spare, baby. Oops, I done fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but...
think I'm gonna continue this painting session in the week because right now I'm happy what we have. I'm happy with what I have on the canvas right now. I'm gonna do the leaves and a couple more layers throughout this week. Um, so. Mm. Shorty, she ain't even got a visa. Out of town one night teaser. Need to tell them other niggas. Ever since I was a little girl, I had a passion for art. And at the time, I didn't really take it too seriously. But I always knew that I loved to create and to do things with my hands. So, <laughs> um, I, I grew up, um, I would say, when I, finished, when I finished high school, honestly, I didn't really think about pursuing arts. Not because I didn't enjoy it, but because I didn't really think that that would get me to the financial stability that I need in the moment. And I think art is a progression that you make and it's a journey. And I don't know, I just wasn't really confident in my art. Um, I was too many things, I had too many things going on, too many distractions that I couldn't be consistent with creating art. And I was always about wanting to do things perfectly and um, invest so much time and effort into it instead of just doing something for fun. Um, but right now I am progressing in my art just by taking it seriously every single day. I give myself like five or ten minutes to draw or to do something creative within my day. And it's really been a big motivator. And actually, I think it makes me more happy when I am creating. I've always known that I wanted to do art, but I was really conflicted with how I would actually get by financially because art is really a process and if you haven't been studying it for years and going to schools, going to courses, you know, networking with people and just practicing for like 10 or 20 years, you know, you really have to build up that skill because um, that's all art is. Um, it's your progress art is really a journey and it's a progress so i'm really excited to see what my future might look like in the art industry i'm really trying to grow my relationship with art by putting the work in every single day by creating a little something by just being more active and more creative more you know i just want to stop consuming as much and begin to unlearn and just process all that I already know and art really puts me in a flow state and the most happiest people are actually the people who focus on being in that state the state where time just flies by where you're focused in the present moment you're here right now you're focused on what really actually matters and it's beautiful to see I tell myself I'm not blaming you. I tell myself I'm not blaming you. I'm not in love, it's just a game we do. I tell myself I'm not blaming you. Hope this doesn't get copyrighted. <laughs> I tell myself I'm not there with you.